Remember the day that the world witnessed the first picture of a black hole? That moment brought a revolution in the world of space science. Scientists captured an image of the black hole located at the core of the M87 galaxy, giving us a glimpse into the mysterious nature of a black hole. Now, what if we told you that there could be a black hole right within our galaxy that is watching our planet silently? Welcome to the Universe Revealed. In today's video, we will uncover the most monstrous black hole in the Milky Way, a sleeping giant that is lurking close to Earth. A black hole is an extremely dense object with such powerful gravitational force that nothing, not even light, can escape from it within a certain distance. There are three main types of black holes categorized by their mass. Stellar black holes. These form when massive stars collapse at the end of their life cycle, with masses ranging from a few times that of our Sun to about 20 times. Intermediate black holes. Though not definitively observed yet, these are theorized to exist with masses between stellar and supermassive black holes. Supermassive black holes. Situated at the centers of most galaxies, these giants have masses ranging from hundreds of thousands to billions of times that of our Sun. They likely grow over time by accumulating mass and merging with other black holes. Each type of black hole possesses unique characteristics that are vital to comprehending the dynamics and evolution of the universe. The first image captured of a black hole was that of a supermassive black hole and its shadow. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, also contains a supermassive black hole at its center. But what astronomers have come across right now is not the supermassive black hole sitting at the heart of the Milky Way, but something totally unexpected. Scientists discovered a new black hole in our galaxy which has taken the title of the largest known stellar black hole. And surprisingly, it's close to Earth. This incredible discovery was made using the European Space Telescope Gaia, which monitors the movements of billions of stars in our galaxy. What makes this new finding so groundbreaking? Groundbreaking is that it's the first time such a massive black hole with this particular origin has been detected near Earth. This massive stellar black hole named Gaia BH3 weighs 33 times more than our Sun. Just so you know, that's the heaviest and the largest stellar black hole ever found in the Milky Way. Does that make Gaia BH3 the largest black hole in our galaxy? <laughs> no. The most massive black hole in our galaxy is Sagittarius A star, located at the Milky Way's center. This black hole has a mass about 4 million times that of the Sun. The reason why it holds the title of being the largest is because it's a supermassive black hole, not a stellar black hole. The formation of supermassive black holes is not fully understood, but one theory suggests that they form when large cosmic clouds collapse. On the other hand, stellar massive black holes form when a massive star uses up its fuel and collapses, creating the black hole. Therefore, it's the death of massive stars that leads to the birth of stellar black holes. Gaia BH3, the largest stellar black hole in our galaxy, also formed from the death of a massive star. Before this discovery, the largest known stellar black hole in the Milky Way was Cygnus X1 in the Cygnus constellation. It was estimated at about 21 times the Sun's mass. On average, stellar mass black holes in our galaxy are roughly 10 times heavier than the Sun. Gaia BH3 sits just 2,000 light years away from Earth, making it the second closest black hole ever found near our planet. The closest one is Gaia BH1, also spotted by Gaia at a distance of 1,560 light years. Gaia BH1 is smaller, with a mass of approximately 9.6 times that of the Sun, compared to this newly discovered black hole. Black holes have earned their name for a reason. They embody a dark and mysterious nature shrouded in numerous unanswered questions. And the question that arises right now is, how did astronomers discover this monstrous black hole that was left undetected all this while? While reviewing observations from the European Space Agency's Gaia telescope, astronomers detected an unusual wobble in space. Initially, they didn't anticipate finding anything. However, they noticed a peculiar motion caused by a strong gravitational pull on a nearby companion star. This is what drew their attention. Let's understand that in a little detail. Every black hole has a boundary called an event horizon. This boundary marks the point where the black hole's pull is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape from it. This makes the event horizon a one-way surface that traps light and information inside the black hole. Because of this, black holes themselves don't emit or reflect any light, making them invisible in space. We can only detect them when they are surrounded by material that they are feeding on. For example, in a binary system, a black hole can pull material from its companion star, creating a disk of gas and dust around it that gives us clues about its presence. The strong gravitational pull of black holes creates powerful and intense tidal forces in nearby matter. 
This causes it to glow brightly as it's destroyed and consumed. Furthermore, any material that the black hole doesn't consume can be directed towards its poles and expelled as high-speed jets accompanied by the emission of light. These emissions of light, including x-rays and visible light from the jets, enable astronomers to detect the presence of black holes. But what about black holes that are sleeping, like Gaia BH3? How do astronomers detect dormant black holes that aren't actively feeding on surrounding gas and dust? Consider a scenario where a stellar mass black hole has a companion star, but they are too far apart for the black hole to pull material from its partner star. In such situations, the black hole and its companion star orbit around a point that represents the system's center of mass. This concept applies even when a star is orbited by a lighter companion, like another star or a planet. This orbit around the center of mass causes a noticeable wobble in the movement of the star, which astronomers can observe. Thanks to Gaia's precise ability to measure star motions, it serves as the perfect tool to detect this wobble phenomenon. Using this tool, Gaia's Black Hole Task Force began searching for unusual wobbles in star movement that couldn't be explained by the presence of another star or planet. These wobbles hinted at the existence of a heavier companion, possibly a black hole. Focusing their attention on an old giant star located in the Aquila constellation, which is 1,926 light years away from Earth, the team observed a wobble in the star's path. This wobble indicated that the star and a dormant black hole of exceptionally high mass are locked in an orbital motion. The distance between them ranges from the widest gap between the Sun and Neptune to the closest distance between our Sun and Jupiter. So yes, Gaia BH3 is indeed an extraordinary discovery within our galaxy, although its mass is similar to objects found in faraway galaxies. And it's not just the black hole that is grabbing so much attention. The entire Gaia BH3 binary system holds significant interest for scientists beyond its closeness to Earth and the mass of its black hole. The companion star of Gaia BH3 is primarily made of hydrogen and helium, which are the universe's lightest elements. The star lacks heavier elements. Astronomers refer to these heavier elements as, quote, metals, despite their non-metallic nature. They can be a bit confusing, though. Scientists think that stellar black holes like Gaia BH3 form when metal-poor stars collapse. Yes, the star that formed Gaia BH3 is metal-poor, meaning it had fewer heavier elements. Metal-poor stars are expected to lose more mass during their lifetimes compared to stars with more metals. Scientists have questioned whether such stars can retain enough mass to create black holes, and Gaia BH3 is the first evidence suggesting that metal-poor stars can indeed give rise to black holes. It is believed that because these stars lose mass over time, they're left with more material that remains at the end of their lives. This surplus material can then result in the formation of high-mass black holes like Gaia BH3. Until the discovery of Gaia BH3, astronomers lacked direct evidence linking high-mass black holes to metal-poor stars. The study authors noted that paired stars typically have similar compositions, and as expected, they found that the star orbiting Gaia BH3 was metal-poor, indicating that the star that formed Gaia BH3 was metal-poor as well. This orbiting star probably came into existence within the first 2 billion years after the universe began, around 13.8 billion years ago with the Big Bang. Its trajectory, moving opposite to many stars in the Milky Way's galactic disk suggests it belonged to a small galaxy that merged with the Milky Way over 8 billion years ago. Lead researcher Pasquale Panuzzo of this study says, quote, It's a real unicorn. No one was expecting to find a high-mass black hole lurking nearby undetected so far. This is the kind of discovery you make once in your research life, unquote. Gaia BH3 is the first black hole that scientists have accurately measured the mass of. The upcoming data release from Gaia is expected to include many more black holes, offering a deeper insight into how dormant stellar black holes come to be. The discoveries of this mission are extending way beyond its initial goal of mapping billions of stars throughout the Milky Way. The bottom line is that the universe still remains a mystery. The cosmos is full of secrets that are waiting to be known. New findings such as this black hole reflect the boundless unknowns in the universe that exist beyond our current scientific knowledge. With billions of galaxies, each containing billions of stars and countless planets, it's an enormous creation that we live in, and we have only begun to scratch the surface of what lies beyond our own galaxy. What are your thoughts about Gaia BH3?